back to my youtube channel pravin kumar bomsetu today we'll see one of the important feature of snowflake that is zero copy cloning in this video we'll cover what is cloning and how to clone and some important interview questions okay so first we'll see theoretically then after we'll go for snowflake ui and we can able to execute this statement and we'll see what the interview questions are there. okay now let us discuss first of that is what is cloning so it is a snowflake feature used to create a copy or take the snapshot of a database schema or table simply you can say if i want to take a backup of any table or any database or schemas you can able to go for cloning so simply you can say it's if i want to take any copy or backup or snapshot of a particular database or schema or tables we should go for cloning or zero copy cloning so if you see what happened what i'm trying to say in real times we are having so many environment like production environment dev environment test qa or pre pod so many environments are there suppose like i am having one production database so in this one so many so many tables or so many objects are there what happened some issue happen now what happen directly we can't able to keep everything in the production then we need to take this data or take the all this data and reproduce repro reproduce this same issue in the dev or test so for this purpose we need to get this all data to be moved from here to here simply by using zero copy cloning in a, within a single shot we can able to get this all the data and we can able to move to lower environment there we can able to test and debug and where we can able to figure out the issue so one more time if i want to get this data entire database objects to move from production to dev or test simply we can able to use clone features so that we can able to get the data in a single shot hope this is clear now what objects we can able to clone so we can able to clone databases schemas tables streams stages file format sequences and task so we can able to clone these are the objects okay databases we can able to score, clone schema tables these are the objects we can able to clone so now we'll see one requirement my requirement is that i am having employee details table this is my table i want to clone or i want to take a copy i or i want to take a snapshot or i want to take a backup of this particular table so this is my table i want to take the clone table so this is my table i want to clone now we'll see how to clone so syntax will check okay create table this is my new clone table name and we need to use the clone keyword and from the old table this is my old table and from this table we are trying to create a clone table so create table table name we need to use the clone keyword and this is so from this table we are trying to clone a clone table clone objects okay so hope this is clear so this is my main table i want to clone by using clone this is a clone feature this is another word zero copy cloning okay hope this is clear now we'll see some interview questions okay so this is one of the frequently asked okay so does cloning object occupies extra storage or space so this is a very very important question and one more question is that suppose if you insert a new record in the main table does it reflect in the clone suppose i have cloned one table so my question is that what suppose if you insert a record in the main table does it get reflected in the clone table or not or vice versa suppose if you insert a record in the clone table does it get reflected in the main table or it will be sync or what okay or it will both are independent we'll see these things and one more important question is that suppose if we add a new record in the clone table what will happen so does it act does it have extra storage or not so these are the important questions we will be faced in interview so we'll see this one in practical okay let us go to snowflake ui and we can able to figure out what the questions asked okay so these are very very important questions okay we'll discuss practical now this is snowflake ui now i am having the table okay employee details t okay see select star from employee details t okay so it is in we see what happened it's in pravin database and pravin schema so database name is pravin data pravin db and schema name is pravin schema okay now we'll see how many records are there you see 26918 records are there 26918 rows are there okay so now i want to create a clone table fc so this is my table the syntax is create table table name we need to use clone keyword and old table name okay now what is the table name Cre we'll see same thing copy create table table name so this is my original table i want to give some clm or clone okay so we should use clone keyword and my table okay so this is my actual table this is one like access reference table from this table i want to create a clone table so by using the clone keyword you see so table employee employee details t clone successfully created 
Now we'll check whether data definition will be created or not. So select star from this thing. Okay. So we need to copy this table and we need to execute. Now see what happened. Same 26,918 rows has been created. So the first question is that how to create a clone table by using clone keyword. So this is my old table and this is my clone table. So this is good so far. Okay. Now this see second question is what? We'll see the second question. Second question is that, okay, does cloned table will occupy extra space or storage? So this is important question, okay. So the question is that what? So the question is that, does cloned table will occupy extra storage or not? Okay, so we'll see whether it will occupy extra storage or not, okay. Now, see this thing. So if I want to get information, we should go for select star from information schema. Okay, this is the information schema. This is the read only schema dot table underscore storage matrix. So by this, we can able to understand whether the request storage or not. Okay. So we should put semicolon at the end of this thing, semicolon. So there are so many records are there. We don't want all these records. We should use. Now we are in which database? If see, we are in Pravin database and Pravin scheme. Okay. So we should use where table catalog. We copy the same thing. Catalog equals to so Pravin Pravin DB. Okay. So you see one forty five records are there. Now it reduced to. 47 records and we need to get and we are in switch schema province scheme okay we should use and table schema equal to so we should so province schema see what happened from what 47 records it is reduced to 90 records okay. and we need to use one more and our table name is what our table name is so employee details, okay. So copy the same thing, okay. And table name, okay. So table name equals to, so this is my table name, okay. So there are two records are there, okay. Out of these two records, you see, so we need to check. So table drop, okay, see table, now right now this table is not drop, okay. So we see this is the table, we need to put one more condition and table dropped so how can you get null values we should use is not is null functionality now see what happened so this is we are getting only one record see one seven 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 one seven three zero five six this is the st storage of file. now we need to check our clone table our clone table is you see one seven this is a storage space okay now our clone table this is the clone table copy the same thing so instead of equal to use in and you see, we can able to get the data. Okay, so this is important point. Okay. See this one. Okay, so this is my table. You see, information schema, table storage matrix. Okay, this is the main table. Employee details is the main table. See, employee details is the main table, and is the clone table. How can you see when? How can you say whether it's a clone table or main table? You see, ID and clone group ID both are same for employee details. Is the main table nineteen four five eight. 1945, both are same. But if see what happened, so for employee details T clone, so this ID and clone group ID both are different. So see one more time, ID and clone group ID both are different. See this ID and clone group ID for employee details T clone is 7578. So for each and every object, one ID will be generated. Okay. So for normal table, normal base table, what? See both are 19458, So this is a normal table. But you see employee details T clone is a Clone table from which table we are going to see 19458. So 19458 is this. Table. So this is the clone table and this is the pit plane. From this table, we are getting clone. So by this, we can able to understand which is the main table and which is the clone. And one more question is what it asks: Does clone table will occupy will occupy extra extra storage or space? You see what happened? So normal table is occupying 173056. What about employee details clone? You see zero. So question for, for this one, what? So Clone table doesn't occupy, doesn't, does not occupy, does not occupy extra storage 
or space. That's why it is called as zero copy cloning. We are creating a copy without extra storage or extra cost. That's why it's a zero copy cloning or it's a fast cloning. Within a like fraction of a second, like within within day based on data, it will create it within automate, like fastly creating data. That's why it's a zero copy cloning. So it's create a copy without any extra storage or extra cost. Oh, this is clear. So, so if you see what happened, this active bytes is right now, it's a zero. Zero in the sense like what? This is not storing extra storage. Okay. So getting the points now, hope this is clear. Okay. Now one more question is that what? So now we will select the board data. Okay. Now select star from. So we'll see the employee details table. Okay. So we'll check the count. Okay. So I'll check the count. Okay. Count of star. See what happened. How many cards are there? Two, six, nine, one, eight. Copy this thing. Paste here. Okay. This is the important point. Similarly, we, we need to check other table. So our table, next table is clone table. Okay. So this one also will have same data. See, this one also has two, six, nine, one, eight records. Okay. So both are having nine records. Okay. Next question is that what? Next question is when we insert a new new record in the main table main table okay so main table in the sense like employee details t does it get reflected in the cloned table or not okay this is important point okay so when we when we insert a new record in the base table does it get so two six nine one eight so when we insert a new record, what 26919? So we'll see whether the record will get inserted or it will be synced or it will be independent. Okay. Now see what happened. We'll check. Select. We'll see the data. What is it? We can have insert one. Copy the same thing. Try to execute. Now see what happened. So like okay, so we can have it. So user may say something. Okay. Suppose I'm inserting one record. Okay. Insert into some like okay random data user message okay so we don't bother about data user message value something like test time good okay test okay now see what happened see record has been there now copy the same thing we'll see down okay now see what happened here how many records will come here one more record will be added two six nine one eight so plus one so two six nine one nine records are but if see what happened now now Anybody can able to see what happened. You see, it will be like it will be only. So what you say? It will be two six. So new record has been doesn't has been added. So in the sense like what? So both main table and cloned table both are independent objects. So in the sense like what? Whatever we did in this object, it doesn't reflect in the cloned table. What are we did in the cloned object? Does it it's a both are independent object? Okay. So this would not be in a sync. Okay, these are different objects, these are different objects. So what happened? So what I what is the conclusion said? So when you perform any operation in the clone table, it doesn't reflect in the main table. When you when you perform any operations in the main table, does it doesn't reflect in the clone table? So both are independent objects. So it is clear. Huh? So first point is that how can we how can we clone the table by using clone keyword? So clone keyword we can able to. Second question is that does cloned object occupies extra storage or not? See, so it doesn't occupy extra storage. Okay, so this is clear so far. Next question is that if see, next question is that when we insert a record in the main table, does data will get reflected in the in the clone table or not? So it is no, it doesn't reflect. So both are independent to each other. Hope this is clear. This is one more question, and we'll see one more question. Okay, now question is that I am. Adding a new record in the clone cloned table. So they will ask, okay, does what does does it occupy new occupy storage or not? Okay. So question is that what? So if you insert or if you do any modifications in the new in the clone table, what will happen? What does it occupy storage or not? Let's see. So what happened? I'm trying to insert the record or update the record. Clone table. See the clone table. So clone table. Okay. So if you see, instead of main table, I'm creating clone table. Okay. So what happened? Semicolon should be there. 
So record has been inserted. Now we see what happened. New record will be populated. Two six nine one nine. So you see what happened. What is the question? If we add a new record in the throne table, does it occupy storage or not? Okay. So yes. New record or new changes will be added to the new partition. Partition. Okay. So in the sense like what? So whatever the changes are added to the next extra, extra clone table, so clone table, whatever, whatever you perform in the clone table, so it will be added, it will occupy extra storage because we are reinserting new record in the sense like what? So it will be added in the new partition. Okay, hope clear. So first question is that we'll see one more time. So how can you clone by using clone keyword? So create table, clone table name, clone, and this is the old table. Okay, next question is that does cloned object occupy space or not? It doesn't occupy the space. Okay. And one more question is that what if we add or if you insert a record in the main table, does it get reflect in the clone table or not? So it doesn't reflect. Okay. So both are independent to each other. And one more question is that when you add a new record or when you perform any DML operations on the clone table, so new changes will be added in the new micro partition. Okay. It will be added in the added in the new micro partition. Okay. Remember one thing. Whatever the data stored in Snowflake, everything will be stored in partitions. Okay, micro partition level will be stored. Okay, so if you add any record, it will be added in the new micro partition. Okay, so this is independent to this main table. Okay, so both are independent to each other. Oh, this is clear. So try to practice, try to create so that you can able to understand. Okay, hope oh, this is clear. Okay.